Chelsea versus Red Bull Salzburg. Should be an easy win for Chelsea, right? However, this is not the case. Rewind to a week ago, Chelsea sacked Thomas Tuchel after an embarrassing 1-0 loss away to Dynamo Zagreb and F1 was stunned. Chelsea moved quickly, however, to bring in new head coach Graham Potter, who did a fantastic job with Brighton but is yet to prove it at the highest level and now has his first game for the West London outfit this evening. Unlike Chelsea, Salzburg gained a home point over AC Milan in their first game of the season in the Champions League, with Noah Offercut the goal scorer, but Champions League football isn't a norm for Salzburg. Before the 2019-20 season, Salzburg hadn't made it to the group stage for the Champions League for 23 years. Keep an eye out for Offercourt today though. However, another one to look out for for Salzburg is 19-year-old Slovenian forward Benjamin Sesko, who was wanted strongly by Manchester United last summer alongside clubs like Real Madrid, but will be joining, actually, RB Leipzig next summer. He's going to be a star. However, let's get off to Stamford Bridge to watch Chelsea versus Red Bull Salzburg in the Champions League. <laughs> Made it. Players are coming out. I haven't done my prediction yet. I'm going to go 2 0 Chelsea. Bamiang to get a couple. I'm with Zach here at the game. Zach, what's your score prediction? 2 1. 2 1 for me. Who's scoring? Bamiang? 2. And what do you think about uh, two people getting sacked? Oh, it's not great, is it? You happy with the pods are by the way? No, no. Salzburg showing their respects to Queen Elizabeth as well ahead of the game, ahead of her passing as well. Salzburg scored in their last game. 
also got booked and sent off as well for two yellow cards. Let's see what you can do here in the final 20 minutes. Kovacic is still on the ground over here. I wonder if they will check VAR. Looks a very strong tackle. The Salzburg have equalised. A lucky finish. Oka four scores. I picked him out in the intro and he scored and equalised it for Salzburg. This has made the last 15 minutes a whole lot more interesting. A very dangerous free kick here for Chelsea. 15 minutes left, and right on the edge of the box to the right hand side. Looks like there's going to be Mount here. Oh, Cucurella, Reece James. Oh! Oh! Unlucky, would have been a great finish. Bono Gallagher and Diak are coming on here for Chelsea, trying to find a goal. Salzburg fans await their team's corner. They're taking their time over it. Chelsea fans are unhappy. It's going to be a left foot to in swing up. And the referee, it's all up, it's all kicking off here. It's going to be an in swing here. Brayden Stepper's arms. Throw us away here. The goal scorer for Chelsea is coming on. Pulisic is coming on. Captain America. Can he save the day again? Four minutes of additional time here at the end of the Chelsea Salzburg game. As Chelsea and Salzburg both look for a goal. Oh! What a chance for Broya. Rise at the death on Arna Broya. Zach can't believe it. Wow. See ya. Oh, no one's there. That could be it for Chelsea. Maybe not. Mal. Jorginho. Cucurella. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea 1, Salzburg 1. Salzburg fans are loving it. So, guys, it finishes Chelsea 1, Salzburg 1. I expected more from Chelsea, I'm not going to lie. First half was really, really bad from both teams. I mean, Chelsea still look dodgy at the back, in my opinion. You've got Kula Bali, who you've bought for God knows how much, and I mean, his wages will be ridiculous. For Fana, 70 million. They're both sitting on the bench. I just don't get it. I. I just don't get it. I know it's Potter's first game, but I mean, the whole decision around that. I mean, if you want a video on what I do think of the Potter appointment, smash a like on this video because I've got some strong views in it. I just can't believe it. You're buying players, especially for, for uh, Tuchel, and he's gone. Aubameyang's for Tuchel. He doesn't necessarily work for Potter. Potter plays completely differently to this. Yeah, I, I don't get it, honestly. Um, I mean, I also wanted to say... Um, there would have been a lot more uploads recently. Obviously, we had the Queen's passing. Um, full respect, you know, goes to that. And I hope, you know, hope she rests in peace, the Queen. What a servant to our country. Um, but, I mean, the decision for football, I mean, there's a lot of strong views in it. Also, if you want me to see a video on that, smash a like on this video. I was meant to go to Fulham Chelsea at the weekend. I was meant to go to West Ham Newcastle. I was meant to go to Arsenal tomorrow night. My seats for Arsenal, for Arsenal were insane as well. I mean, any decision that the Premier League or UEFA make on this, you can't win because if people, if they put ahead every game, people are going to be like, oh, you're just being disrespectful. You should have it all for one of the greatest servants of our country passing away. But look, you just can't win. I mean, maybe I'll go to the reschedule fixtures, maybe not, but don't worry. I've got a lot of exciting games still coming up. I'm at Spurs this weekend. I might have a couple in the international break as well, a couple of bangers. So yeah. 
guys i'll see you in my next video but until next time make sure you smash the like button please can we get 20 likes on this video i'm on the road to 2k it might seem a long way at the moment but just smash the subscribe button follow my social medias down below but until next time i'll see you then bye